On this side, we have to have bone formation, which is osteoblasts. You got clasts and blasts. <laughs> it's a lot of tss. Hey guys, it's Dr. Nate here at Thrive Dental and Orthodontics, and you know what I'm doing, like I'm doing every single week. I am trying to inform you so you can be the best possible, knowledgeable patient ever. And today, what I'm gonna talk about, I am gonna talk about why your teeth hurt with braces. Hey guys, Dr. Nate here again. So I get this question probably every single day as well, and people are coming in, patients are coming in, and they are sore. You know, most of the time they're sore for the first little bit while we put on braces, but everybody is different. You know, some people will be literally, it feels like they will be sore for the whole treatment, like the whole two years. Like every time they come in, they're like, ah, ooh, and, I, and I'm tightening them, they're like, ah, ah, ah and it hurts, you know, and it's painful, and it's just, it's just not comfortable. Whereas other patients literally will not complain and say it doesn't hurt, it doesn't feel like anything's happening the whole time. Like from day one to finish, they're like, I don't think I felt anything the whole time. Everybody is so different, but let's talk about why your teeth may feel a little uncomfortable or may feel a little sore. So if we think about it, what is actually happening? How are teeth being moved? What is the whole process? What actually occurs is we are moving bone through bone, which kind of blows your mind, doesn't it? We're actually physically moving teeth, which is kind of like a stronger bone, through your jaw bone, which is, is, is kind of nuts. So how this works is, say I'm, this is the tooth, and it's trying to go this way, okay? So it will most of the time kind of tip and tip and tip and go into that position. And how it does this is there's a couple of specific cells. I'm gonna get into some nitty gritty details to see if you can follow along. As, this, as the tooth tips like this, it wants to eat away at this bone. The tooth doesn't, but the cells come in from your body and they actually eat away the front surface of this bone. And those cells are called osteoclasts. So they break up the surface of the bone called osteoclasts. But if you think about it, if the tooth is moving this way and it's eating away at the bone here, there's gonna be a lack of bone on this side, right? If it's continuously kind of tipping and going in and going this way, if we didn't do anything on this side, then you'd just be left with no bone and your, your jaw would be gone, which is not good. So on this side, we have osteoclasts. We're breaking the bone up right here. On this side, we have to have bone formation, which is osteoblasts. So you got clasts and blasts. <laughs> it's a lot of tss. And that is how the teeth are moving. So it's just a bunch of cells that are taking away some bone and then some other cells that are putting bone together and they're moving the teeth along with the force of the braces. So why do your teeth, or why are they getting sore? If you think about it, you have all this kind of movement and all these blasts and clasts doing their thing. And what that really is, is inflammation. Just like if you had, you know, you hit your elbow or shoulder or whatever and it's sore and because the tissue's getting inflamed, it's the same process inside your mouth. So you have all these different cells releasing all these different chemicals that are creating this inflammation. And that inflammation has pressure and actually hurts, you know, it's a little sore. Some people, it's just not quite as much and it doesn't feel as sore. Some people's pain tolerance is way higher. That's why sometimes when you come to the office and you're really anxious and you're nervous and you're freaking out and you know, like, I just, I just like kind of touch right here just with my finger or a cotton roll, people freak out. That's because their anxiety level is very high. But if you come in, you're chill, you're relaxed, you just, no, everything's okay your pain threshold is quite a bit higher because if somebody's touching you, it's not a big deal. But that is why your teeth are gonna feel a little bit sensitive though as you're moving through braces. All right, now we got another big question. What is worse? What is more difficult, Invisalign or braces for discomfort? And we have actually had patients do both. My wife has done both, uh, so we can answer this pretty well, but this is a little bit more anecdotal. My thoughts on this are that braces are quite a bit easier than Invisalign as far as discomfort. And why do I say that? Because braces, we do something called very light movement, light continuous force. So as we put the braces on, the teeth are moving and they're kind of gradually moving. You'll see me every kind of six to eight weeks. So you'll know that it's like a gradual force the whole time you come in or the whole visit, right? So that happens over multiple weeks. 
Invisalign is totally different. Invisalign, you are changing the trays every week. So instead of kind of a gradual force over time, it's basically every week, boom, there's a force, boom, there's a force, boom, there's a force. So every week you're getting tightened kind of. It's almost like you'd come into the dental office or the orthodontic office and you're getting tightened every single week. Now you know if you've had braces or you're gonna get braces, you'll probably know this, that when you first get tightened, those first couple days are pretty sore. But imagine with Invisalign, that's happening roughly every week. Yeah, the movements are not that big, they're not crazy, you know, you're not doing these huge movements for every single tray, but you are doing a movement. So instead of having these light continuous forces throughout, it's more kind of rough and rough forces. That being said, clear aligners like Invisalign, I think are a little bit probably more comfortable than braces because they fit on your teeth really, really well. But as far as the actual discomfort from the tooth movement, I believe that braces is quite a bit easier than Invisalign. All right, so now you know a little bit, you know that the teeth are moving and they have osteoclasts and blasts and those are the cells that are help moving the teeth which cause inflammation, which cause some discomfort. You know that probably braces may be a little bit easier than Invisalign as far as discomfort goes with the tooth movement, not, maybe not necessarily with overall comfort, but at least with tooth movement, I believe braces is a little bit easier. So what do you do? You know, you have all, this, all these issues, all this pain and you have braces on, what do you do? The one thing you probably don't want to do is take Advil or aspirin. And you're like, why? That's why I take all the time. Why shouldn't, I, why shouldn't I take that? The reason is because aspirin is an NSAID and that's a non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug. And what that basically means is it is reducing the inflammation. And now, you know, remember if I go back, you know what we're talking about, there's all this inflammation from these cells kind of trying to turn over the bone. So if you slow down or stop that process, you may end up slowing down tooth movement. There are some studies that show this, so it may be very, very, very minor, but if you're gonna if you're gonna take something, why not just take some Tylenol? It won't slow down that process for sure. It won't slow down the process, and it'll ease your discomfort anyway. So you can just take over-the-counter Tylenol. People sometimes ask me, do I need anything stronger? Do not take anything stronger. You shouldn't need anything that that intense if you're just doing orthodontics, and that will help you kind of ease your way through the orthodontic process. All right guys, there you have it. That is why your teeth are sore. That is kind of the braces 101 with the different cells and the turnover and all that good stuff. Hopefully you learned something today. As you know, I'm putting out videos every single week. So if you have any value in this, please subscribe below. And as you also probably know, I'm trying to answer all your questions. So leave the comments below and I will see you next week.